man. Nate didn't even wait for you. He's exactly. well, we're going right into losers. No way, man. Oh, I was totally on the screen, so it, you know, it, I was there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, when losers, losers finals, right? Yeah. Uh, different uh, set than earlier. S two H is the one that fought the cat in winter side. So uh, Master Bar gonna get his shot at the cat right here, and oh. he's all oh, definitely getting his shot right there with that immediate fair to take out that first stock. Not even touched by the cat so far. Master Mario definitely taking the momentum that he had in the last set and carrying it right into losers finals. Talk about an explosive start, Master Mario. You know, I know I've told you this plenty of times. Master Mario is definitely the wild card of. Soka, you never know what kind of Master Mario you're going to get. Is he going to get the offensive Master Mario? Are you going to get the explosive Master Mario? And the cat definitely found out which one uh, we're dealing with right now. Yeah. Now, the cat actually using the, the Lucina this time around. We've seen it come out a couple times in Smash 4 uh, against certain matches like Sheik, for example. Oh my god! Wow. Another 4 Smash. Hot hands right, in, right into the cat's face. Yeah, uh, so far this Lucina pick, I mean, would have worked out really well in Smash 4. Not quite working out here. Once Mario is able to get his aggression, he doesn't get to use like those dolphin slashes, those early setups, be able to get out of these situations. The Master Mario just goes to town on the cat. Looking at the three stock potentially right now, if you get another explosive zero to death. Okay, but Nair one into back here is going to seal out Master Mario's first stock. The cat putting himself on the board. Now we saw a lot of Genesis, we saw a lot of MK Leos. Uh, Lucina. So we see the potential that this character has. You know, great up airs, uh, just juggles, and just rack up a ton of damage, like already putting Master Mario at 62%. Yeah, Master Mario's saying, though, is like, okay, you got up airs, I got up airs too. Gonna try and go in there, gets that jabs out, putting the cat in another ledge scenario. And that ledge scenario, uh, every time, every time he's carried him to the corner, he's gotten the stuff. Whether it's from a fireball or from a runoff fair or something like that, Master Mario's just there. <laughs> Right, Master Mario definitely playing his wild cards. That was the most. I don't know what game he's playing, but he's not playing Ultimate. He's playing Crazy Eight. He's playing something else. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, the cat, I don't know who that is. I'll just, I'll just go in and do the, the, what I'm used to. So you can see the cat's putting on a serious face right now. So mm -hmm. let's see if uh, Master Mario can get another shot at Wadi here in Grand Finals or if the cat's going to stop him right here. Now, like you were saying, Lucina does have a, a couple get off me tools, but we're really gonna see the strengths come in from the cat when he was spacing out with those uh, those back airs, those forward airs. We've seen a forward air, really strong tool. Ooh, wow, catches the spot dodge. I feel like the cat is spending too much time uh, getting away from Master Mario rather than keeping Master Mario away. Uh -huh. There's very different game plans, they, whether trying to return back to neutral or to keep and maintain the neutral. And it looks like Master Mario, just with his aggression, just keeping the cat on his toes is not quite working out on the defensive play right now. Mm -hmm. Great fade back into back air. Okay, we see an S smash connecting from the cat. Okay. This is where the strength for Lucina is going to come in to make it very difficult for Master Mario to get back to stage. Yeah, very smart uh, from the cat there. Took out the jump and then just waited for the defensive option. That way he didn't get the air dodge through. Master Mario kind of did it preemptively, and so the cat was able to take out that stock. Mm -hmm. And now it's just going to be in the cat on, on the cat to maintain this lead. Just continue to space out Master Mario like he was doing earlier in the game. And as long as he's able to do that, just maintain his advantage. This game is his. Cat trying to maintain an advantage here, gonna get that trade. Still works out for Nakat. I mean, he's up a stock, so it's gonna work out just fine for him. Yeah, and I like what he's trying to do. He doesn't try to reverse a reversal situation. He doesn't try to force it out. He just lets Master Mario get back that positioning, and he just uses what he's known for, but that risky Dolphin Slash. I mean, Nakat was playing the game correct. He was he was playing by the motto of, if you're ahead, stay ahead. And you see, like, he wasn't going for any of those risky reversal situations, but right there he pulled the trigger out of Dolphin Slash, and it just cost him. Yeah. Now you don't want to give Master Mario any hope, because even though he's at 122% good straight hit from Lucina, will take out the stock. He's got a lot of potential to bring this back. You can see he's trying to get that combo starter, but the cat doing a good job on his defense, keeping out Master Mario, rather than trying to get Master Mario away. Oh, but well we saw that soft hit in there, and here we go. It's combo time. Oh, up air into forward air. Master Mario really playing the wild card. Okay, that time, I really respect that. He knew that he wasn't going to get that platform extension into the up B, so he went for an air dodge read, got the up air into the forward air, like you said. Amazing stuff from Master Mario. Keeping up his offense and just reading the cast defensive option there. Mm. Nikat coming in with that revenge kill, evening up the stocks. Now going back from Nikat having a huge advantage to anyone's game. Is he double up air? <laughs> going for that. Oh my god, that big fair. 
Oh man, it's massive. Oh, Mario, when you're at the edge, it's just scary. I like that. Uses the jab reset, extends forward, tries to get the downer afterwards, but he's still going in. Guess that up B is still not enough to take the stock though, but Nakat at a really high percent. He's got a little bit of catching up to do. That's right, Nakat <laughs> doesn't have a little bit of catching up to do. He's got a lot of catching up to do. He's going to have to space out quite a bit, make sure that Master Mario doesn't get a good conversion. One big up smash with the way that then a cat's jumping around, you know he's looking for that up smash. Ooh, down smash, breakdowns on him. Go underneath that grab hitbox. Another chance for Master Mario to try and take the stock here. And I like that double jump into Nair just to keep him away with that strong hitbox. That's right. Definitely baiting in uh, Master Mario to think that was going to be a re-grab and get the free punch instead of punishing with the Nair. But, ooh, a big up smash coming out from Master Mario. Yeah, he can't. Literally living on the edge. Yeah, I tried to da dance on him a little bit to try and get a defensive option out, but the cat just went around it. Great strong, or excuse me, weak back air. Puts himself in a good position. Wow. That fair almost connected with the forward smash. Gonna take it first. That's right, big S smash coming out from the cat, but a short hop Nair is enough to take game two. Just barely it looked like that the momentum was just enough there where it was gonna stop right before the blast zone, but the cat with that, Nusha, like a second to take out that stock. We're going to. Uh, first game in the cat, right? No, that's right. One one. It's one yeah, yeah, one right now. With yeah, Master yeah. Mario <laughs> just bullying his way back into game two. Yo, man, these uh, <laughs> these games go by too fast. I don't even know what game we're on. I think we're on three or something right now. That's right. We're on game <laughs> three, and right now it's Master Mario's counter pick. Uh, so let's see where we're gonna go now. Game three, of course, very important because it's gonna be pivotal uh, for the entire set. We're gonna see if it does go to a game five. Who's going to have that counter pick? Um, or who's going to have advantage going into game four. A little bit of a slower start for both of these players. Uh, that can time read the, read the aerial trying to go back onto the stage and picking him up with that up tilt. Gonna get 74% off of that. Nice stuff from Master Mario. Trying to pressure that shield, trying to bait out like a shield grab or something. Yeah, I like that Master Mario didn't overextend. Usually uh, what his style would be is to just like continue aggression until really uh, you put a stop to the aggression. But right there, he let the cat go to the ledge, fall to the ledge, get into shield, and then he just reset to neutral, waiting for his next opportunity to go in. Gotta go for a raw back air. Didn't quite work out there, and the spot that's gonna get through from another re-grab. Down smash gets punished with a down poke. The down tilt poke. And I like the dash dancing into up smash. These higher percents. It's going to be very dangerous, but another dash dance is going to weave around that F smash from the cat. Yeah, just barely going to get around that scenario. Low recovery from the cat. Not much Mario could do to challenge that, so he's going to have to go for less trapping instead. But we're back in neutral one more time. And like you said, uh, Master Mario playing a little bit of a slower game. But he's still got that offense and he's got that aggression going, but he's not as explosive as before. He's recognizing probably miss input, probably wanted to do up smash instead. Didn't quite work out there. Well, there's an up smash on shield, so it's definitely working now. But yeah, he's playing a much slower game. He's respecting the cat's uh, space and uh, essentially waiting for him to push a button first so he can punish. Yep. Alrighty, that time catching him on the landing, gonna get that up air, barely enough to take the stock. Was that just fine for him? Another risky dolphin slash, but at zero percent, all you're really gonna do is eat a, a good amount of percent. Only 31. That could have been much worse. Yeah. And I think Master Mario is catching on to the, the great hitboxes that Lucina has to get out of these different scenarios. I mean, for example, Lucina's up air is around frame five, something something ridiculously early like that, and it's got a wide range too, so he's able to get around like those stubby limbs that Mario has. So he's doing an amazing job of spacing around that. That way he's able to continue his uh, aggression and combos. And we got a big extension coming up here into the Nair. Again, just resetting the combo, just taking for as much damage he can get, not trying to overextend. That's what Master Mario is doing here in game three. Okay, checking the shield with an up air and just looking for his opportunity again. The cat continuing to space out with Nairs and down tilt. It's a good, it's a good game plan, but it's not putting him in the lead just yet. You know it's a tool we haven't seen coming out from the cat yet that I'm, I'm looking forward to? I don't know if maybe he's just conditioning Master Mario to not think about it, but the Shield Breaker. You see the cat checking Master Mario's shield quite a bit, but he's not pulled the trigger on the Shield Breaker yet. Ooh, that back air is enough to do it. I think maybe the cat tried to do a fade back or something with a nair or something. It looked like he tried to use his double jump to stop his momentum, but it's even at that point it wasn't enough. Yeah. Okay, there's the shield breaker. Okay, I don't know if he heard you or something. Maybe his uh, headphones. Are, oh, no, he doesn't have headphones. Coaching, coaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but another good dolphin slash gonna retake stage control. A little bit of an early counter, but sneaking in that up air. Oh, that was another up air for sure. 
All right, Masamaru having a hard time resetting back to neutral. Going to be stuck on the ledge one more time. Avoids that up tilt. And the cat giving him just enough time to maneuver around. Get a reversal here into the up airs. Just reads that neutral air, tries to go for the spike, it does not work out there. Yeah, big directional air dodge from, from Nick Hat to escape that forward air, and we'll see a Dolphin Slash clean up the stock. But that Super Saiyan percent, has Luc do you think his Lucina is going to be able to come back from that? I mean, we, we actually see uh, the Fireball being a great tool for Master Mario. It's uh, giving him the, the maneuverability to just miss space uh, Nick Hat's aerials. Oh, and like that, you just uh, clanked with the fireball, able to get the conversion win on that uh, clank on the end lag on that. That's right, he's using it to his approach and cover his approaches. He was trying to snipe the jump there, but the cat saving it until he knew that he was going to be able to make it back safely. Try to get the ledge control there, and the cat not quite getting it then. I'm trying to cross up with the back air, he doesn't find it, but another good nair from the cat. See it, both players dash dancing around. Waiting for one opportunity. Uh, I, I see the shields coming out from Master Mario, but I feel like the cat not quite finding the shield breakers at the right time. There we go, gets that jab out just to punish that. And the pivot for Smash stays right outside of the range. The cat trying to go in for an edge guard for once. Got the ledge re grab, but wasn't expecting it, I don't think, so he decided not to go for it. And again, Master Mario losing the control here. That's right, slowly letting control slip away, but the cat drop shield just a little bit too early. Looked like he was trying to go for a parry into F smash, but that is the gamble with the parry. You drop it too soon, you lose your stock. And, of course, those smash attacks, you can hold out for a much longer time. So it's just a great big mix-up game, and the cat not quite there. Master Mara clutching his chest. He knew that was a <laughs> risky play, <laughs> and it paid dividends for him. So he's kind of moving on with a 2-1 lead right now. You know, essentially, as soon as Master Mario went into the Us Smash animation, the game was over. Yeah. At that point, the game was over. It was just who was going to come out on top. Lucky for Master Mario. Everything went his way. He took game two, and now he has the advantage here in Losers Finals. Yeah, man, it was just one of those freeze frame anime moments. Like, who's gonna take? The, who's gonna take the win? Oh, here? that was definitely like the quick draw moment from like the Wild West movies. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and already, man, wow, that Whoa. almost killed too. Wow, <laughs> I don't know if the cat was like not diing all the way to the direction he needed to or something, but that looked a little bit scary. One more of those, he can't handle. It. Okay, but the cat has been able to climb up that that percent deficit. I'll try to get that bear, not quite. We're gonna get that bear instead. Trying to maintain this control, but the cat's timing his defensive plays with those spot dodges and air dodges really nicely, taking him to the other side of the stage rather than keeping him on one side and potentially getting the kill. So he's surviving a little bit longer. Okay, but good dash dancing, keeping the cat, uh, keeping Master Mario on the side of the stage. But that wall bounce is horrible. Even with the jump, he wasn't making that back. Yeah, that was, I think that was just a miscalculated play. He tried to go in for the edge guard, but Master Mario was just moving in too deep into Pokemon Stadium mm -hmm. for him to really get that fair hitbox out and just clank there. Didn't get the tag. That's one of those risk reward scenarios. Like, okay, if I get this fair, I get the stock, but if I don't, I potentially lose. And he did potentially lose his stock. Okay, but, there we go. Yep, good uh, ledge options, ledge coverage. Oh, tried to read the air dodge or something, didn't quite work out. Did the ball air dodge that time around, so he was able to land with about with a little less lag. You see, you see Master Mario continuing to play that, that slower pace. Got another potential chase on the platform, taking him to the other side with that back air. Doesn't quite work out, but again, just keep going in on the chase. Clanks out there. Good text from the grabs. All right, let's see what Master Mario tries to go for. He retreats back to the ledge. We saw that the cat was trying to uh, retreat to the platform, covering that option. Now, good use of Nair to just get Master Mario off the ledge. Yeah, the last thing I want Master Mario to do is try to force out this stock here. He's got a really decent lead. The worst thing that can happen is the cat slowly brings it back with these straight hits, gets like a shield breaker, gets it like a nicely charged force match or something. I mean, because of that consistent sword hitbox, going to be able to kill relatively early against a character like Mario. But we can see he's still trying to go in, goes to the back throw at that time. I just feel like Nikat's playing just a little bit too defensive. He's not. I feel like he's not spacing as many bears as he as he possibly could, relying on Nair a lot more. Yeah. Oh, that time tried to get the 
the uh, shield breaker to probably work out there. I guess a hitbox and again uh, up there intercepting him. And I, I see what you're saying. When you see uh, like MK Leo's uh, Lucina, for example, you can really see the aggression pushed out. You can see when the cat it looks like more that he's getting like these defensive blocks and defensive uh, hitboxes to keep him away, but doesn't quite and push it. Maybe in. trying to convert off those those straight hits. Yeah. I mean, like right there, perfect example of a forward air just being using his opportunities. I mean, even up tilts with the way that Master Mario is just sort of jumping all around the cat. Up tilts going to be a great tool. And then you can convert into more up airs and just juggle him over and over and put him in those situations. All right there. I guess that nice bear out of shield. Does he have a jump? Okay, he has Yeah, he's fine. Going to be able to make it back when there's another bear putting him off stage one more time. Master Dolph. Mario looking a really nice lead to try and solidify his spot in Grand Finals. Just right outside that forward smash. And the cat not finding a punish there either. Was trying to jump over him, gets a cross up or something. But it's not working out. The up smash comes in. And another forward smash that gets the shield break. Master Mario moving on to Grand Finals here at MSM. How many opportunity? How many times have you seen Master Mario actually break a shield? That was the first time I've seen it I tonight. think that's the first time I've seen uh, a Mario break a shield. Uh... But that was just like uh, an acu like a total of Master Mario's just pressure. All or just jumping, continuing to jump around. Yes, that, that's exactly how I feel at the moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just continuing to pressure a cat into shield.